Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of the Parker Vector XL. Now, before we dive into the pen, I just want to point out that uh, there are several Parkers out there, Parker Vectors out there. So I just want to be clear that this is the Parker Vector XL, which is a apparently a newer model. I was surprised to stumble across it. So uh, if you want to see the difference between this one and the regular traditional Parker Vector, uh, stay tuned tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow morning, I guess, I will upload another video where I'm going to compare this pen to the Waterman Allure and the more traditional Parker Vector. So let's take a look at the pen. All right, so we've got a box here. A magical box containing a Parker Vector extra large fountain pen. Nothing written there. I got some Parker junk on this end and just some standard new old Rubbermaid junk on this side. So pull it out and we have a Parker box. Open it up some more. I would swear I opened this box this evening. Oh, too far away. Uh, I had a Waterman Allure. I, I did some batch filming tonight that was in the exact same box except it said Waterman. But we've got a lovely little pen inside. And, oh, I guess we've got our ink chosen. So we'll throw all this junk to the side. Won't need this guy tonight. So this is the newly rejuvenated, exciting Parker Vector. How new? That was supposed to be more dramatic than it was. Well, there's the new, there's the old, and I even have another old one, now if we get desperate. So this lower pen, this is the exact model and finish that I purchased when I was 10 years old, back in 1980, whatever it was, for $3.99 at the News Center in the Colonial Park Mall in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is the rejuvenated Parker Vector. So how rejuvenated? Well, let's take a look. First of all, the clip is showing what Parker has been doing with its newer clips instead of the plain clip that's on the old Parker Vector. They got rid of this doodad down here. Still a snap cap. Ooh, I like this clear section and the nib is kind of cute. And I actually like that we can see the feed. So we'll uncap the old one. It's kind of a thing now that to have big nibs, and the old one just didn't have a big nib. So I think that was always a strike against it. You know, it just looked old and small to modernize. And definitely the new one has a bigger section. Uh, you couldn't see, there, there are fins in there, but you couldn't see them on the old one. The new one, you can see them. And again, the clear section, I think, is a nice touch. And, of course, they are both cartridge converter pens. I do like the step here. I think that's a very nice step. The body itself is metal. The old one was plastic with some metal ad adornments. And we open it up further. And, yeah, it's definitely a... They've got a plastic liner in here, so it'll fit over the plastic here. So let's snark some... Par I don't know if it's washable blue, but it's definitely blue. Let's snark some Parker wash... some Parker blue in to the pan anyway. And it shot down that real fast. Let's see how quickly it starts... Oh, yeah. Starts writing almost right away. I like... Well, isn't that special? I will do a full video some other time to compare the two models. Right now, I want to see how I want to look at the new models. Let's see how it writes. Parker Vector. What is it? A medium? Yep. So the Parker Vector is a medium. The ink in it is Parker Quink Blue. Uh, as 
far as the rating. Let's see, flex. Not a lot of flex. That the skipping is kind of alarming, but I also haven't cleaned the pen. So it could be there's some gunk in it. No flex, but definitely some line variation to this guy. Wetness and flow. I think it's doing just fine with that. Smear test. Very wet. Reverse writing, if you're into that kind of thing. A very smooth, should we call it extra fine? And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Definitely seeing some skips, but I feel like I need to clean the pen. Editing me jumping in here. Uh, yeah, the skipping continued with that cartridge, but I cleaned the pen and reloaded it with new ink as I was talking there, and I haven't had a problem with the new ink. So I think, as I said in the video, it was just some oil or something that was in the nib. So uh, that is a thing that can happen with new pens, and uh, I think that's what happened there because it's right like a charm right now. So when I do my editorial part of this video, I will have finished this fill and started a new one. And I'll let you know about the skipping, if it's still an issue, or if it's just, uh, you know, Wasky Squirrel should have cleaned out his pen before he started writing with it. So I have to say, I was pleased with this pen. I really, really, really liked it. Uh, I was surprised how well I liked it. And I shouldn't have been because it is so similar to the Waterman Allure, as you will see uh, tomorrow's video, because I'm going to do an extra video this week where I compare this to the Waterman Allure and the Parker Vector, the traditional one. Uh, I wasn't aware that there was a traditional Parker Vector and a Parker XL when I filmed the writing sample, but I now am. And uh, pretty happy with it. It's, it's already uh, been refilled with, uh, what has it been refilled with? I don't know. Um, Monteverde, no, Monte Grappa Bordeaux. And, uh, yes, proprietary cartridges and all that. I don't think I mentioned that in the video. So it still uses the same Parker system. As far as, uh, the pocket test, slipped right on there with no problem. Uh, just like the other Parker Vector, it catches on the way off. Because <laughs> <clears throat> of the arrow point things. Um, but I am very happy with it, and, uh, usually a lot of the pens I've bought in this price range I'm usually just kind of it's okay no I've been grabbing this or the uh, Waterman Allure right away so uh, good sign I, I think it's a very good pen I think uh, you know if Parker could get wider exposure to this I think they've got a winner here so anyway hope that was interesting Hope that was useful, and again, look forward to me tomorrow. I will have a comparison between the three pens because a lot of people asked for that. So I gotta film all that tomorrow night. So anyway, I wanna thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.